I'm Kristen McGee. Welcome to Acacia TV and Yoga for Abs. This workout is going to fire up your abdominals and help you tap into your core strength. So let's get started lying on our backs. Once you're down here, I want you to take your hands behind your head, lift your head and neck up so that you're getting up to the very lowest rim of your shoulder blade, but keep the top of the shoulders down away from the ears. Keep your elbows wide, bend your knees to tabletop, and then take one elbow to the opposite knee and twist. Really look towards that back elbow and it's going to work the obliques even more. And then switch. And switch. Now you use your breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Really bring it out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Lengthen through that bottom leg. Switch. And switch. We're really firing up the abs. Switch. And switch. Getting that whole core region. Keep going. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Beautiful work. Now, lower your head down and your legs straight up. Flex your feet strong. Lift your head and neck up if it doesn't bother your neck. Otherwise, you can always keep your head down. And if you have low back issues, place your hands underneath your back. We're going to do alternating leg lifts. So stretch one leg long and then switch and switch. Really feel those lower abs fire now and switch. Feel those inner thighs engaged. Keep the shoulders down away from the ears. Keep drawing your belly button to your spine. Beautiful. Use that breath. Inhale. Exhale. Engage your ribs. Inhale. Draw them towards each other. Exhale. Inhale. Keep lengthening out through your legs. You're doing great. Keep going. Inhale. And exhale, really firing up those abs. Inhale. And exhale. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. Excellent. Now lower down. Keep your legs straight up to the sky. Take your arms out to your sides. We're going to start to drop our legs over to the left. Fire up the right obliques and then bring them back up. And then go over to your right. And lift. And over. And lift. Excellent. Over. And lift. So this really works the waist, really works the core, really works those obliques. Keep going side to side. And lift. Try and keep that top foot above the bottom foot as you reach and feel your waist work even harder. If this is too challenging at any point, you can always bend the knees to tabletop and just keep doing the TikTok side to side that way. We're going to do two more each side. And over. Last one. Reach. And reach. Nice work. Bend your knees. Place your feet flat on the mat. Push into your feet. Bridge your hips up so you can stretch your abs now can clasp your hands under your back, puff your chest to your chin. Imagine tugging your heels towards your hips, engage your hamstrings. Breathe through the nose. And then slowly lower down through your back. Hug your knees into your chest. Give them a nice pull. And then drop both knees over to your left one more time. But this time you can let them come all the way to the floor. And then look out past your right hand. Breathe through the nose. Come back through center. Drop your knees to the right. Look to the left. Keep the shoulders down away from the ears. And then come back to center. Hug your knees in. And use your core to start rocking and rolling forward and back. So stay tight like a little round ball. Draw your belly button to your spine. We're going to rock and roll, and we're going to eventually rock all the way over our feet and back into downward facing dog. So on this next one, you can cross your ankles. You can come forward. You can step or hop back and lower down, chaturanga. Lift to upward dog. Keep your abdominals engaged here. This is an easy place to let them kind of go uh, a little weak or lazy. So pull your belly button to your spine, and then go back to downward facing dog. Nice work. Fire up your core. Feel your abdominals supporting you here. You can even look up to your ab region. 
corset your front ribs, engage the pelvic floor, press firmly through your hands. Take another breath in, keeping your abs nice engaged at the bottom of your next exhale, step or hop forward. Inhale, lengthen out the spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, swan dive up to stand. And again, keep drawing in the abs. And exhale, arms to the sides. Inhale, float the arms up, press the palms. Exhale, swan dive forward, hands to feet. Inhale, look forward. And again here, really keep your abdominals engaged. And then step or hop and lower into chaturanga. Lift to upward dog. And press to downward dog. Hold and breathe, inhale through the nose. Now we're gonna come out and hold plank. So I want you to find one nice straight line of energy. Draw the shoulders down away from the ears. Engage your pelvic floor. Squeeze your glutes, press your heels back. Slightly tuck your tailbone under and then find the crown of the head moving forward. This is one of the best workouts you can do for your abs. It fires up the entire core region, gets your back strong. Even if you can just start to work up to holding a one or two minute plank a day. It's nice to do even first thing out of bed in the morning. So feel the sides of the waist lengthening. Stay focused with me, breathe through the nose. Use that yogic breath to really stay concentrated and strong. That's gonna help you tap into your core strength. Really find that you can dig deep and do a lot more than you realize. You start to uncover that potential hidden within. Draw your front bottom ribs towards each other. Draw your hip rims towards each other. Take one more breath. And then you can go right back to down dog or do an optional chaturanga or even knees, chest, chin. Inhale up. And exhale back, beautiful. Now this time roll out to plank and we're gonna lower onto our forearms. So place your right forearm down and then your left forearm down and find that same line of energy from heels to hips to crown ahead. Press into your elbows, breathe through the nose. Find that core strength. Make sure that your shoulders aren't creeping up towards your ears. Really pull them down away from your ears. Engage the scapula. So you're pulling your shoulders down away from your ears and really getting into that upper core strength. Keep your abs strong, your entire body here. Breathing through the nose, you're doing awesome. Now we'll come into a forearm plank. So take your right forearm parallel to the front of the mat and flip over onto the outer edge of your right foot. Raise your left arm up to the sky. So now working the obliques more, feeling the sides of the waist. All that core strength is great for your back as well. Get the midsection strong. Try and keep your hips so that they're stacked one on top of another. Take another deep breath in, look up to the top hand, and deep breath out. Now place your left forearm in front of your right forearm, and we'll come over to the left side. So again, we're stacking our hips one on top of another, drawing the belly button to the spine, keeping the shoulders down away from the ears, lifting through the obliques, hollowing out through the lower abs, breathing through the nose. Now as you transition back to your right side, we're gonna place the right hand down and come into side plank, lifting the left arm up, pressing through that right hand firmly, breathing through the nose. Again, working the obliques, keeping the shoulders down away from the ears, belly button to the spine, use the breath. Try and look up to that top hand. And then switch over to your left hand, outer left foot, and raise the right arm up. Find that steadiness, use your breath. You can gaze up to the top hand if you want to. Stay solid in your core. Breathe through the nose. Come back to your plank. Optional chaturanga here, or you can just go right back to down dog. Inhale up, and exhale back. Take a deep, full breath in, and deep, full breath out. Now, bottom of your exhale, once again, you can step or hop forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Swan dive up to stand. 
and exhale, arms to the sides. Beautiful. Now we'll come into chair pose. So bend your knees, sit back in that imaginary chair, lift your arms up, lengthen from your elbows to your wrists, and here especially, really tap into that core strength. Find that power from within. Use your abs to help you sit a little deeper into that chair. Nice work. Take another breath in, swan dive forward. Look out to a flat back and step or hop back through your chaturanga once again. Upward facing dog and downward facing dog. Now keeping your hips so that they're parallel. So again, find that nice tight seat belt that comes from hip rim to hip rim. Raise your inner right leg faster than your outer right leg, and that's gonna really keep your hips facing the floor, and that's gonna keep your abdominals working even harder. And now you're gonna use your lower abs to pull your knee forward to your nose, and then extend that leg up and back. Inhale, knee to nose. Exhale, up and back. Inhale, knee to nose. Exhale, up and back. Now this time, use your abdominals, step your foot all the way forward, see if you can do it without lifting your hands. That really works your core. Make sure the right foot's on its own side. Press through the back of the left thigh. Use your abdominals to lift you up into a high lunge. Nice work. So tuck your tailbone under slightly, and then again, draw the belly button to the spine. Lengthen through that back leg, and feel your abs here. Draw your shoulders down away from your ears. Tap into that core strength. Now from here, we're gonna launch out to warrior three. So again, find your abs, find your core, use them to balance as you reach out and launch into your warrior three. Now your hands can come together in front of you. They can go out to your sides like an airplane. You can also take them behind you. Balance an imaginary teacup on your lower back. Stay, stay strong here, breathe through the nose. And then carefully using your abs, step back into your lunge and open to warrior two. Stretch through your fingers, drop through your shoulders, pull through your abs. So here you really can find that belly button to spine. Feel your back ribs float and lift as you sink deeper. And then reverse that warrior to use your obliques, flip your back hand up so that you're not supporting yourself with your hand, but you're supporting yourself with your abs. Working the obliques, working the core, bend that front knee even deeper. And then the same way we launched into warrior three, we're gonna launch out into half moon pose. So now it's like your side plank, finding your obliques, finding your balance, scooping out the abs, breathing through the nose, try and look up to your top hand, that's where it gets tricky. And then once again, engaging your pelvic floor from your lower abdominals, step back into warrior two. Nice work. Cartwheel your hands down, make your way to dog. Throw in your chaturanga, knees, chest, chin, cobra, whatever you'd like here. Inhale up, feel that nice stretch in the abs here. And exhale back. Take a moment, flubber out the lips if you'd like. And then lift the left leg in the air. Try and lead from the inner left thigh faster than the outer left thigh. That will keep your hips towards the mat. Now tuck your knee in, kick your leg back. Tuck the knee in, hollow the belly. Kick your leg back. Tuck the knee in. Kick the leg back, scoop the abs, step your foot forward. Try not to lift your hands. That's so awesome for the core. Keep working on that and you'll really find that support of the lower abdominals. Stretch through your arms, breathe through your nose. Take a deep, full breath in, deep, full breath out. Now using the breath, using your core, we're gonna launch out warrior three. Any arm variation you'd like to take. Find that supporting leg strong. Lengthen through the back of your right knee. Breathe through the nose. Fire up your core, your powerhouse. And then use that energy to carefully make your way back to lunge. Open to warrior two. Stay steady in your center. Make sure that knee is not rolling in. Soften the shoulders, lengthen through your elbows, breathe through your nose. And then inhale, reverse it. Find that power in your obliques. 
in your waist. And from here, we're gonna launch out into half moon. So slide that hand forward, flex your right foot, stacking the hips, breathing through the nose. Try and take your gaze up to your right hand. That's where it gets tricky. You're doing great. And then use your abs carefully. Step back, warrior two. Cartwheel your hands down, make your way to dog. Keep your abdominals held in if you're going through your chaturanga. And down dog, nice work. So take a moment, and then at the bottom of your next exhale, step or hop forward. Lengthen the spine, fold into the legs. Swan dive up to stand, and exhale arms to your sides. This time come into chair pose. Tap into that core strength. And then bring your hands into prayer. Take your left elbow, wrap it outside your right knee, and twist. So going into those obliques. Sink your hips back, draw your left knee back in space with your right knee. So you're not twisting from your hips, but from your core. That's where those yogi bicycles really come into play. And now we're gonna switch to the other side. Getting those obliques. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Twist feels so good. Come back to your chair and carefully start to lower down with control from your abs. Float your legs into boat. If you need to keep your knees bent, you can. That's perfectly fine. Keep your shoulders dropped, your abs in, your breath steady. Try and float those back bottom ribs up away from the hips. Now we're gonna lower down into half boat or canoe and come back up to boat. And lower and lift and lower and lift and lower and lift. One more, you can do this. And lift, now lower and hold, 10 breaths. Pelvic floor engaged, tailbone heavy, abs in. You got this, halfway there. Keep holding, tap into your breath, tap into your core, you can do this. And then inhale, come all the way back up to boat. You might need to use your hands at that point to support yourself and then place your feet down, so nice. Bring your hands back about 10 or 12 inches, fingertips facing forward, and then bridge your hips up into a tabletop. This will stretch out the abdominal region. If you want to go into a full incline plank, you can walk your hands back and your feet forward. Tuck your tailbone under, draw your belly button to your spine, open your chest, breathe through the nose. This is like a reverse plank for the back body. So our entire back is our core as well, the entire circumference of our body. That's the beautiful thing about yoga and core strength and working our abdominals in this way. We really strengthen that entire region. And then start to lower down. Bring the soles of the feet together, knees apart. You can open up your feet, lift out of your lower back and then come forward into cobbler's pose. Take some breaths here. It's nice to stretch out the inner thighs as well, because the inner thighs are really active as well in the core. You'll feel how that lift and strength of the inner thighs helps support the pelvic floor muscles, which helps support that entire transverse abdominal region. And then come on up. Lie down one more time. You can use your abdominals to slowly come down through your back. Bridge your hips up for one more stretch through that region. If you want to go even deeper this time, hands by ears, fingertips face shoulders, you can come all the way into a full bridge. And then lower down. Give your back a moment. Hug your knees into your chest. And one last twist. This time, stretch your left leg long, hug your right knee in and reach it over to your left. Look off to the right hand, breathe through the nose.
come through center and switch sides. Left knee in, cross it over. Look up to the right hand. Feel that great stretch in the waist and the back. When you come back to center, extend your left leg long to meet your right leg. Lay yourself flat. Let your palms open to the sky. Or place your hands on your belly. Thank yourself. Thank your core for all of its hard work. Give yourself a few moments of rest. Then gather your knees into your chest. Use your abs to rock up to sit. Find a comfortable seat. Rest your hands on your knees. Close your eyes. And once again, take a moment to just honor yourself, your center, that strength from within. And thank you so much for joining me. I hope to see you soon.